We have an unexpected guest message. What's the arm art doing here? My attempts to use the orb of discourse to locate Sai Sahan did not meet with success, so I decided to try a more direct approach. I used it as it was intended and contacted Abner Thun. Is he being cooperative? <laughs> he admits that he knows Sai Sahan's location, but he will not reveal it. He demands to speak with you directly. Let's hear what he has to say. We meet again, Vestige. I wish to speak with you on a matter of some urgency. What's this about? Menimarco and his vile master have dark and terrible plans for this world. If you wish to stop them, you need to find the Amulet of Kings. But huh. to find the Amulet, you must first locate Sai Sahan. And you know where he is? Of course I do. <laughs> and I might be willing to share that information for a price. A price? I'm listening. If Manimarco learns that we've spoken, he'll have me executed. I'm a danger to him. I know too much. Therefore I, Abner Thahn, Chancellor of the Elder Council, Overlord of Nibane... As it is, are you joking? Do I look to be in a mirthful mood? There comes a point when even a patriot's loyalty is stretched too far, when the things he has done, and has seen done, become too much to bear. Would that I could. As it happens, I find myself to be somewhat of a prisoner, in dire need of rescue. My proposal is this. If you retrieve me from Menemarco's fortress and grant me asylum, I will give you Sai Sahan's okay. location in return. You can't. And you'd be a fool to trust me completely. But the facts remain, you need me if you wish to find Sai Sahan, and I must keep my head if I am to ensure the continuance of the Empire. Neither of us has a choice. I can see your point. Sahan is quite correct. We have little choice in the matter. You can't be serious. How can we possibly trust him? As our visitor so eloquently pointed out, we cannot. But if we are to locate Sai Sahan, we must do this. Go with the vestige, Lyris. Rescue Thaan. Give him the chance to redeem himself. He may surprise you. Hey, Lyris, move your ass. Let's do this. You appear to have arrived in the wretched squalor, a shanty town of soul shriven outside Menemarco's castle. How do we go inside? As would have it, Menemarco is away on some errand for the Daedric Prince. The castle garrison is not on alert, so you should only encounter a token defense. The main gate is sealed. Touch us. You're the hero, aren't you? Improvise. Okay. <laughs> what a skaver. Improvise, he says. I can't believe we're risking our lives to rescue that skeeving horse. Any suggestions? Subtlety and stealth. Let's not bring the entire castle guard down on our heads. And didn't he say this was a town of soul shriven? Maybe we can find one who knows his way around. Try to be inconspicuous. We just got free of this place. The last thing we need is to get recaptured. Away from me. I don't go away. I'll call the guards. They'll 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 probably take me to just uh okay. You want to buy something? Famazar has rocks and dirt and bones. It is hard to I way into the castle, you know. First, that is the fastest way in. Ask Cadwell. Ah, that crazy bastard seems to know every corner. Okay, okay, where is Cadwell? Why am I not surprised to find Cadwell here? He <laughs> certainly does get around. Okay. Ah, uh, oh.
Man. We need to go here to find Cardwell, right? But... That was a mini boss. Hey, my friend. I say, jolly good timing. Lyris enchanted, as always. And you, you're looking fit for someone, so uh, how can I put it? So, Carol, what are you doing here? Are, wherever the forces of evil prey upon the innocent, wherever souls are stolen and bodies shriven, wherever a people cry out for justice, there goest I. We need to so find a way into the castle. Dibella's garters, why? Lovely grounds, no question, but it's positively brimming with angry cultists carrying rather large weapons. We need to rescue Abner Sad. It's complicated. I see, I see. A rescue, is it? Well, that's a different kettle of fish, isn't it? Hmm. There is a cistern that drains into the waterway. Uh, the door is locked, but that's not stopped me before. Why don't you meet me there and we'll see what's what? Thank you. That might be our best chance to get inside. Looking my boat. Victory Sorry. is cool. Defeat is worse. Sorry. I'll take this loot. You don't need a loot, guys. Hey, Cadwell. You keep up nicely. I can't abide dawdlers. What's next? This whole bloody castle sits on top of an ocean of unstable oblivion, what's it? The Daedra use pipes to control the flow of it all, and it comes out as steam. Well, most of the doors in here are sealed with pressure from that steam. It's all rather complicated, but in a nutshell, if I can tamper with the pipes, we can open the doors to the inner keep, and you can slip inside. What do you need from us? Well, I can handle the tinkering, but you'll have to keep the beasties off me. It will be quite a romp. Are you game? I'm game. Let's go. Onward! <laughs> Careful there! No! 
No remorse! I hate this shit. Hey, slow down! Don't worry, this will get you inside with a minimum of fuss. One more after this one. There you are. Quick as you please. There's even time for tea. My friend. Pleasure. Think nothing of it. The merest trifle. Truly. You'll find this Tharn fellow at the top of the Tower of Bones. You'll need to make your way through the Keep's heart to get to it, but it's not terribly far. I understand the King of Worms has set him to the task of inspecting the soul gems that find their way into the castle. Which is to say, well, uh, all of them. You'll see crates of the things scattered around the premises. Why don't you call me Tharn? Indeed? Well, I might just take you up on that. But safety first. I'll stay here for the nonce and make sure nothing comes to bugger up our little adventure from behind. Thanks, Cadwell. Sir Cadwell came through again. That crazy night is starting to grow on me. Should I be worried? <laughs> yeah, ladies. I, I like him as well. I think everyone likes this guy. Oh no, hear me out. How many thorns does it take to rule an empire? Shut up. I'm trying to work here. You are tired. Okay, cannot go that way. We have you. Hurry up. The worms are on the move. Okay. Tower of Bone. Reflection of Tharn. Maybe if we ignore him, he'll go away. There you are. I was beginning to think you were captured. We've a bit of a problem. What's the problem? The door at the top of the tower has sealed with a warded barrier. <laughs> I've seen the worms use similar sorceries before. It will sear you to ash if you touch it. How do we get to it? Here's a thought. The flesh atronachs that patrol the castle halls are assembled in a laboratory very close to the warded door. If you created your own atronach, it would be bound to obey you. You could force it to smash through the barrier. Uh huh. How do you build a flesh atronach? It's a simple process. A child of five could do it. Unfortunately, we don't have a child of five, so I'll be forced to walk you through it. You'll need some good sized chunks of flesh. Take them to the laboratory, and I'll contact you there. Okay. Not 
the most glamorous task, is it? Yeah. Imagine how the worms get used to this. Give me the loot, give me the loot, give me the loot, give me the loot. for a while, I'll tell you that much. That's a fucking wolf, wolf. It takes a lot to make me ill, but this is getting there. Yeah, there are more loot here. Oh, a linen robe. We need to make it astronaut, okay. Not very big, is it? Oh well. Now cast the ritual from the book. Okay. Ha! We'll make a necromancer of you yet. <laughs> that was nice. Give me 
your loot. How's my inventory? Okay, I'm still okay. I'm still okay. A line of rope. Oh, wait. Uh... No, 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 we don't. I, I... Say I'm looking forward no, I don't want to talk anything with you, my dear. Oh, what the fuck are these people are doing here? Man, I really like the story. Insufferable worms, I'm working as fast as I can. Hello, my friend. So, we meet in person at long last. You look taller in your projection. I'm here to get you out. And not a moment too soon. If I had to inspect one more ship here, fuck you and your viewers, bro. Why should we trust you, Dan? A fair question. I know things. Things that can help you. Here's a bit to whet your appetite. Menemarco isn't doing any of this to serve Molag Baal. His ultimate plan is to out-scheme the God of Schemes and to replace him. Hmm. What? How? The Amulet of Kings is the key to everything. Why do you think he kidnapped Sai Sahan? He's torturing him, trying to get him to reveal the Amulet's hiding place. Okay, he's trying to find the Amulet of Kings before we do. Precisely. With the Amulet at his command, Manny Marco believes he can trap Molag Baal's essence and absorb his power. He seeks to become a god himself. That sounds bad. What else can you tell me? I'd love to discuss this further, but this is hardly the place. Get me to a safe haven and I will tell you the rest. That was our agreement, was it not? Now, let's... <laughs> Wait. Hello, Flint. Till what? Defeat many Marco. Okay, no, boys. No, no telling my secrets. Go to your room, Abner. I will deal with you shortly. Ah, dear Liris. Your old position at the foundry is still available. We'll even give you your own set of unbreakable chains. And you. Thorn in my side, the pebble in my shoe. Shall we test your limits? Oh, infuriating. The process trains the energy for most victims that you keep you. fighting. more can you take, I wonder? Yeah. 
Easy peasy. Madame Marco, you dare attack the Chancellor of the Elder Council. Okay. We defeated him? I don't think. He will not remain discorporated for long. His consciousness will be adrift for a few moments, but that is all. Why did you help me? Because Madame Marco has delusions of godhood. He cares nothing for the Empire. He seeks only power. I've never done battle with him before. He's far more powerful than I imagined. Oh well. Too late for regrets. In for a bean, in for a bean. What now? First things first. We need to get out of here alive. What do you suggest? We certainly can't go back the way you came in. I'd imagine they're swarming the grounds already. There's a refuse chute further down the path. It's a bit of a drop, but we'll probably survive. Let's go. Let's go. There's not more loot here. Loot, loot, mice. Loot, loot. You must be the ugliest princess ever rescued from a tower, Tharn. Hmm. I'm shocked your lack of education and repeated blows to the head haven't dulled your wit, Titanborn. Hey, leave her alone. Leave Lyris. I like her. Hello again. Need a way out? Cadwell, my friend. Just a moment. My friend. Okay, preservers, you're as battered and bruised as a peach in a sack of rocks. Bit of the old daring do, was it? No matter. You'll be needing an escape route, no doubt. Great teaming, Cadwell. That's what I do, quite honestly. We should probably hurry it up. The entire castle is as bristly as a sack of sewing needles after all that noise. Why don't you come with us? Come with you? You mean leave Cold Harbor? Well, I, I don't know. It's been a very long time since I've seen the world I left behind. Do, do you think it's wise? You should come along. It might be good for you. Well, that's, uh, that's settled then. And after all, you do need someone to lead you out of here. Onward! Let's go. We are a full party, man. Into the shoot, come on. Oh. Quickly, I've opened another portal. Hurry. Okay, everyone. Enter in the portal. Come on, Caldwell. Hey, bro. Come on! He don't come? Ah, he coming. He's here. My estates, my titles, my own life, it's all forfeit now. All in the name of preserving the Empire. I swear by all the gods, Menemarka will pay dearly for this. Are you alright? Of course. I am Abnathan. It will take more than a few brainless cultists to rattle these old bones. Now then, where were we? Uh, you are going to tell us where uh, Sai Sahan is? Ah, yes. <clears throat> Truth be told, I don't know the precise location, but I do know that he is Manimarko's prisoner and that the King of Worms is trying to pry the location of the amulet from him. You don't know where he is? Now, now, before you lose your temper, let me clarify. I don't know precisely where he is, but I can find out. I'll just need a little time. You cheat us. What? You son of a bitch! A scammer. Ah! Are you insane? Get away from me, you brutish she-troll! Lyris, stand down. He's done nothing but lie to us from the beginning. I don't care what he says. He'll always be Menemarko's toady. Please. Menemarko wants me dead. 
Did I pretend to capitulate to him? Yes, I did. Do you have any idea how many lives I saved by doing so? The only thing you saved was your holdings in your own hide, you pompous ass! Enough! Abner had no choice, Lewis. And we are guilty of our own deceit, are we not? The time has come for the Vestige to know the truth. What's this? The Vestige doesn't know? Oh, this is rich. Sire, don't. Vestige, until now, you've only known me as the Prophet. But that is not my true name. I am Varen Aquilarius. Our fallen Emperor, in the tattered robes of a moth priest, Blind as a newborn kitten. I am sorry <laughs> I deceived you, Vestige. It's okay, bro, don't worry. You are angry. It is to be expected. You are the Emperor. I was once, but no more. My name is Baron Aquilarius. Why did you tell me? Why the deception? In truth, I feared you'd kill me where I stood if you knew who I was. You certainly wouldn't have allied with us so readily. I caused this, all of this. If Merlock Ball destroys this world, the blame will be mine and mine alone. Okay, how can I trust you now? You must not blame Lyris. She did as I instructed. She's my sworn protector, but she is also your ally. You have my solemn promise, Vestige. When this is over, if you still judge me harshly, you can end my life. I will offer no resistance. So, what now? We must find Sysa Han. Everything depends on that. What shall I do? In this matter, nothing. Abner and I must confer. We will contact you again when we have more information. I did not foresee Abner's A reduced magicka cause... When Amarco fears him... ...of your spell. Okay, I think I, I can equip this one. I have replaced a level 19 one with this one. Practice makes the master. Oh wait, level up as well. Amazing. Yet. <laughs> okay. Six skill points. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, man. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I, if I'm... I don't know. I, I will focus anyway at light armor. What that? Increase your flame resistance. Mm. Mm. Yeah, every profession man will be useful, you know.
increases healing now. What's that? Reduce the cost of your necromancer summon abilities. Huh? Oh, when you use an ability on a corpse, you generate five ultimate. 16 seconds, that's too much. <laughs> uh, I think I will spend on uh... this is a shit man 1000 damage is nothing Yeah, I think I will focus a little bit on crafting, you know? Yeah. Uh, that was anything new here? Oh, that ring I seed. Not the one with stamina. This one. Reduce the magic cost. Yeah, we'll replace the level 19 one. Accept, yes. Uh, anything to collect here? This restoration app. Hmm. 
I don't know. I'll keep the epic one, man. It's my. I have only two epic items. The stat and this helmet. The cat will. I say, you do get into some wild adventures, don't you? This place is so odd. Did you know that fire here is actually warm? Brilliant! My man. Uh, I remember uh, are some level requirements for uh, to advance you, on the main quest. Oh. 